Why would someone leave the ever respected seasoned field of engineering and trade it for this emerging, arguably uncertain field of data science? Well, it wasn't an easy decision, but I can promise you I do have my reasons. Hi, my name's Kevin, a civil engineer turned data scientist in the fintech space. And today we'll be talking about the five reasons as to why I left civil engineering to pursue data science. And I must say, I was really sold on reason number three. But before we get into those reasons, I think it's only fair if I give you a bit of the backstory of what exactly got me into civil engineering. Fast forward back to high school, my strongest subjects were maths and science. And I think anyone that, well, excels in maths and science, like the expectation is to gravitate towards a STEM field degree. And, you know, with my father being in electrical engineer. I was very sold, I guess sold by engineering. And why I chose civil is actually a bit of a funny story. All right, I think the main reason was if you've ever watched Prison Break, um, you will know the main character, Michael Schofield, and he's a structural engineer. So I was fascinated by his, well, genius character, his problem solving skills. And I was like, I want to be that guy. And that's why I chose civil engineering. I just think it's a bit ridiculous that an 18 year old has to make this big life decision for their next 40, 45 years with limited education. And what that is, I mean, life decision on what career are you going to follow? And I think that education needs to be improved, but that's a story for another day. Fast forward to university. I can say that it was a great experience. I had a good set of friends. I enjoyed the university life or college life. I mean, with the subjects themselves, I really enjoyed the calculation slash analytical based subjects. But I think when it came to the practical component of the field, I did not enjoy that that much. But I thought, okay, that's fine. I will find something after my studies that I do enjoy. After completing my civil eng studies, I then dabble in the field a little bit. Honestly, I did not enjoy it at all. And I knew that in my career, I will have to be curious in order to grow effectively. And this was a big problem. So the time came where I took the big leap and I decided to resign from my civil engineering role. And during that time, I tried to start a business or two. I dabbled a little bit in, they call it TEFL or ESL teaching, shout out if you know it. And it wasn't until the year 2020 that I first came across the term data science. Well, just for a bit of context, I knew that I always had an interest in the field of finance. And there was a point where I was trying to make like after my civil eng studies, sort of pivot towards that field, which was really difficult. So during all that research and back and forth and just going nowhere really, I stumbled across this role called a quantitative analyst. I checked up what they do and I thought, I want to be that guy. I want to be that guy. Fast forward to 2021. That was the year that my brother introduced me to this institution called Explore Data Science Academy. And I was like, hey, I've heard this term before. It was the previous year in 2020 when I came across the term data science. And so I did my research back and forth. And I came to the conclusion that a data scientist and a quant analyst, they have very, very similar roles. And then I realized that this could be it. This might be what I was looking for all my life. Where I got my 100% confirmation was at a time during my last and final role as a civil engineer, um, my then manager asked me to do a, a simple task and mind you me like i i did not enjoy this job and i remember that at the time my manager was like you know kevin once you see the end product come out at the end it will be worth it you will feel that fulfillment i was like in my head though no i i, I really i don't think so I, I i am really sure that 
that is not that is not going to be the case so um now my manager asked me to do this rather simple task but would change the trajectory of my career he asked me like hey kevin uh can you do this some analytics in excel based on like how the company's revenue and expenses or rather income and expenses did over the last couple of years and just show that to us and i said okay i'll do that so i just went to build on a couple of visuals in excel and that's when i knew the world of data is for me well i'm gonna stop my story right there maybe we'll continue it another time for now let's get into the actual five reasons as to why i left civil engineering to pursue data science and based on my story you may guess what some of them are reason number one is there is a lot of traveling especially early in your career that happens as an engineer especially a civil engineer where it may be even going to remote sites um you know, or remote locations for weeks at a time to establish new sites. And I knew that in my career, I do not want to be away from my family for long periods of time. And if we compare this to the field of, of data, like a lot of roles are either hybrid or fully remote. As an example, my role is 99% remote, meaning that I just go into the office once a month, the rest of the time is at home. Reason number two is that we've, we've gotten to a stage where there is this huge supply of, of engineering graduates, but unfortunately not enough demand for like entry-level roles. And as a result, you have some graduates getting underpaid, some graduates even sitting at home. I've had stories of people sitting at home with a whole engineering degree. Imagine that. And if we compare this to a data scientist, you will have more opportunities in data science and that is because you can virtually go into any domain as a data scientist. What do I mean? So a data scientist can be needed in the engineering space, finance, energy, utilities, medical field, you name it. I'm in the FinTech space, but just by that logic there will be more opportunities for a data scientist and with the rise of ai a lot of companies are realizing that they are falling behind by not taking advantage of data taking advantage of ai so that is why it's still high in demand reason number three is that i've always dabbled with the idea that i may want to immigrate sometime in my life at some point maybe maybe and the difficulty with civil engineering is that from country to country, the codes, standards, the practices, they may differ. Having to upskill in the standard of that country within the civil engineering space, whereas with data science, the skill is global. It is constant throughout. Well, at least in 2025, it still is. Going into reason number four is that I've always been a strong advocate that my career should in some way shape or form fuel my side hustles in the case of civil engineering i did not see how that was possible maybe it is i just didn't see how but with data and the field of data science i always had a dream to start a youtube channel and i'm doing it now and talking about data which i think is still very relevant and even one of my other passions, which is the world of finance and investing. And at the moment, data is really disrupting that field. So it is in essence helping slash going to help me make better investment decisions based on this background I have in data. Reason number five and being the final reason, and I think Actually, I know the most important reason, and I was willing to ignore the previous four reasons if this one was not a reason, and that is the passion simply wasn't there. I'm, I'm a strong believer in something you do for, what is it, 40, 45 years, 
more than half or more than half of your life you should thoroughly enjoy that's that's eight hours a day i mean i don't know how many hours of your lifetime but it's it's a lot of hours and is is of utmost importance to me i know that is the main reason why i left civil engineering to pursue data science well if you've gotten up to this point in the video i am so glad because it means that you've enjoyed my story yay anyway maybe leave a comment below if you've landed up in the field of data a data professional whether it be data an analytics data science data engineering ml engineering whatever it may be leave a comment below if you've transitioned from a previous field and ended up in some sort of like the, the space of data otherwise this is just the beginning and i just have so much to unpack on this channel until next time